let's define scale informally. We use a separate scale for each many-valued attribute. A scale for such attribute m is a formal context whose objects are attribute values and whose attributes are the new attributes that will replace m in the derived one-valued context. The objects of the scale are called scale values and its attributes are called scale attributes. It's important that scale values include all the values of the attribute m that occur in the many-valued context. Here is an example of a nominal scale for attribute sodium. As scale values, we have both values of this attribute that occur in the context. We could also include other possible values, weak and very weak, but this wouldn't have changed the results of scaling because these values don't occur for the attribute sodium in our context. In practice, the set of scale values can be infinite. If we are to scale the attribute weight, we might want to foresee a way to scale any possible number. As long as the set of scale attributes is finite, there's only a finite number of ways to scale different values. So we could combine some scale values by defining corresponding sets of one-valued attributes for, say, intervals of scale values. We do scaling by defining a scale for every many-valued attribute. These scales taken together form a scaling schema. Here we see a schema that can be used to nominally scale our many-valued context. And here is a formal definition for a derived context that we obtain by applying a scaling schema to a many-valued context. It may look complicated, but the procedure is in fact very simple. We replace each many-valued attribute by the scale attribute of the corresponding scale, and then in the row of object G, we replace the cell of many-valued attribute M by the row of its scale that corresponds to the value of M for G. What scales we choose affects what object intents we may see in our derived context. Every row of the derived context is always a concatenation of rows of the chosen scales. If we choose nominal scaling, we cannot see two crosses for the two scale attributes replacing the many valid attribute sodium, but we must see exactly one cross in one of the two cells.